Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki Most people are living in a rat race their whole life. What's the rat race? One definition is the endless routine of working for everyone but yourself. This means you do all the work while others, the government, bill collectors and your bosses take the majority of the reward. Why are we in the rat race? Because since we were little kids, everyone was telling us, go to school, study hard, get a good job. If you live this life after you graduate from college, you work for the same company for several decades and you retire with a cushy pension. But most of the times this is not enough in our day and age. The only one getting rich is your boss. What are you doing with your money? This is a question you should ask yourself right now. If you get a pay raise, what will you do with the money? Will you invest it in stocks or bonds which will earn you extra money? Or will you spend it on a new fancy car or bigger house? The answer of this question will determine if you'll become rich or stay poor. Did you know that the rich don't work for money, but the exact opposite? Money works for them. If you learn this powerful lesson, your life will not be the same ever again. How to make your money start working for you? The answer is financial intelligence. Unfortunately, we're raised without this kind of intelligence. Our school systems are set up to train people in a variety of useful subjects, but financial intelligence is not one of them. The lack of training in financial intelligence is a problem for most people in the world, and this is the reason so many people are making bad decisions with their money every day. You can start the journey toward personal wealth at any point in your life, but the earlier you get going, the better. If you begin at 18, you're far more likely to become rich than if you begin at 25. The first step is to look at your financial situation, but remember you must be honest with yourself or else just don't do it. The next step is to start building your financial intelligence and to start investing in the biggest asset you'll ever have, you. Remember, this is your biggest asset no matter how much money you have. You can start by attending seminars, webinars, read any book on the topic emotional intelligence and personal finance and all of Robert Kiyosaki's books. After you start your education, the next level would be to start taking some risks. Here's another important lesson. Take risks on topics only in which you're educated. If you don't have the right education, you will fail. After you start taking risks, remember one thing. You should be buying assets, not liabilities. What are assets and liabilities? An asset is something that puts money in your pocket month after month, year after year. And a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket month after month. You should remember this rule and start applying it because this is what the rich are doing. They're buying assets, not liabilities. The rich are buying assets, poor people are buying liabilities, and the middle class are buying liabilities thinking that they're buying assets. For example, your home is not an asset because it's taking money from your pocket every month. When you invest in assets, your dollars become employees working to create income for you. The more employees you commit, the better. The goal is to get your income as high above your expenses as possible and then to reinvest the excess income into your assets, employing even more dollars to work for you. We're not trained in financial intelligence in school and this is fine. Now you know why the rich are rich and why the poor are poor. From this day on, it's up to you if you will become rich or poor. You know the biggest secret in the world. Start educating yourself on how to make your money work for you through assets and you'll become a rich individual. Read and grow for people who want more. If you want to see more big ideas, click here to subscribe. Tell us in the comments, what's your favorite book? Facebook, read and grow. Twitter, twitter.com slash read and grow.